welcome back to another video. My name is Ivana and I travel and I travel solo a lot. Now, this story time, because I decided to do another story time, it's been a long time since I've done one, is going to be about the first time I traveled solo and like the worst of the worst happened. I got stuck with no money at all, like nothing, zero, nada, maybe like 10 euro cents in my wallet. It was horrible. I'm telling this story because I hope it may help one of you guys when you're traveling solo to take the right precautions and not get into the same situation I did because I never, I never do this again. This story starts with, uh, with a breakup <laughs> because I just broke up with my ex-boyfriend and I had been saving quite some money to uh, do a road trip in America. But since we broke up, I figured F this shit, I'm going to travel by myself and I wanted to see Barcelona for a really long time. So I booked a ticket to Barcelona and I went there and it was totally sex in the city. So the first day I went shopping and it was still and it was freaking awesome. I took myself out to dinner. So the first time eating alone in a restaurant abroad, uh, hashtag awkward, but I had a book with me so it, I managed and I was so freaking proud of myself after that first day so I went back to my hotel and everything was still freaking perfect the next day I decided to do a little bit more shopping so I shop 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 and in the evening I wanted to take myself out to dinner again but this time I put the debit card I put it in the ATM and the ATM swallowed it so I was like, hashtag FML, that hashtag did not exist in, when was this? 2012, I think. But this wasn't the first time this happened to me, so I was like, oh well, uh, I still have enough cash on me to pay for dinner. So I just went to dinner and after that I only had 15 euros in cash on me. So I figured if the worst of the worst happens, at least I can go to the supermarket and buy myself some food or take myself out to lunch or do something even more stupid <laughs> we'll get back to that in a minute so i went back to the hotel i tried to call my bank but it was a saturday evening i think it was around 10 pm or something so of course nobody was available because service in the netherlands meh meh especially the banks we don't do that i wasn't mad because this happened to me before so i wasn't that much surprised I did think hashtag FML, why, why now, why, why, why? But I did still have another debit card from a joint account with my ex and also I had a credit card with me without a pin code. But I'll get back to that in a minute. So I got back to the hotel, I went to sleep and I figured, okay, I'm gonna call someone tomorrow from the bank and they're gonna fix this. So in the morning, it's a Sunday morning, I call the bank. They had like the funniest response ever. They were like, oh, come to our office tomorrow afternoon. We're open after 1 p.m. And I was like, okay, girl, listen to me because it was a woman. Okay, it was a woman. I was like, woman, and I, I know you always get the best results when you stay friendly, so I was like, um, I have a problem because I'm stuck in Barcelona and my flight is leaving on Tuesday morning So no, I cannot come into your office tomorrow after 1 p.m. Because I'm still in Barcelona and I have no money to buy food So <laughs> I had 15 euros, but you know, you can't buy that much in Barcelona for 15 euros And she was like, okay, but I cannot help you right now And I was like, okay, well, I have the other debit card Let me try that one first because I hadn't tried that one I don't know why I didn't try it immediately, but I didn't and I also have the credit card and she was like yeah you can use the credit card without a pin code in some restaurants just ask before you order food if you can use the the credit card without pin code so I was like okay still chilling I wasn't panicked at this point I wasn't panicked I was just like a little bit bummed out I was like why why am I wasting time on this I could be doing fun stuff and it was just a waste of time in my opinion I wasn't really aware of how serious the situation was because you can order room service on your credit card in a hotel I just ordered breakfast in the hotel and you don't need a pin code for that which is awesome so after that after this phone call yada 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 I was hungry again and I decided to take myself out to lunch I, I was not feeling 
you know, being stressed out and whatever. I still wanted to have a good time. I was by myself. I was the only person who could take care of myself. So I got to a restaurant and I asked them like, can I pay with a credit card over here uh, without using the pin code? And they were like, sure, sure, sure. And I already I was like, eh. Your English is not that good, so I don't know for sure if you understood me. This was, this was so dumb. I was so naive. I was so naive, man. You have no idea. So I sat down, I ordered a lunch, and just to be sure, just to be sure if the credit card wouldn't work without the PIN code, I ordered only until 15 euros, so I would be able to pay with cash if the, if the credit card failed. You can already guess what happened. You need a pin code for using the credit card. And I was like, but I asked you if I need a pin code to use the credit card. She was like, yeah, but I didn't know because people usually use a bad debit card. <sighs> Hashtag FML2. So I hand over my last 15 cash euros and I'm left with like, nothing in my wallet i was like yeah i'm so dumb i'm so freaking dumb why didn't i try the other debit card first because we're getting around to that one so i'm like okay well i still have the other debit card from the joint account with my ex i call him i asked him like we were still on speaking terms we were like friends or whatever i asked him like could you please transfer some money to that account i will pay back later because i can't access my accounts right now and then i could use that debit card he was like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. And he transferred the money. So I get to the ATM again. I put in the debit card. And it's not working. And by this point, I'm starting to panic. I'm like, oh, what the F is happening? It is a Sunday afternoon. It is like 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. And I have no money. I'm by myself in Barcelona. <gasps> Luckily, luckily, I already had bought uh, like a public trans th a transportation pass for like four days or something or three days, like the length that I was there. And so I didn't have to worry about that one, but still it was such a horrible situation. So the next thing, of course, I call my bank again. I'm like, what the F is this? My other debit card is also blocked. And she's like, yes, that's right. That's correct. And we can help you tomorrow because today is a Sunday and nobody's here in the office and nobody can help you. Uh, shoot me, shoot me. By this point, I am getting really, really frustrated because I wasted a whole day in Barcelona just trying to figure this ish out. I am uh, beyond panic. I'm getting like really sad and the pity party starts i'm starting to feel like really sad for myself so i'm like okay i can eat in the hotel i get back to the hotel i order room service for dinner and i just go to bed i think at like 10 p.m because i was having the biggest pity party ever i was feeling so sorry for myself at that point but i still had some hope the next day would bring a solution so the next day First things first, I call my bank and I'm like, guys, I'm here in Barcelona by myself without any money with two, two block debit cards. What is going on? And they're like, well, we don't know, but yeah, don't you have someone with you who you can borrow money from? I'm like, no, I'm by myself. That's what I said. I am by myself in Barcelona. In that time, 2012, it wasn't that normal for me to, you know, hear stories of other women traveling solo. And I just felt like really sad saying, but no, I'm by myself. I don't have anyone to borrow money from. It's, it's horrible. So they were like, okay, yeah, but we can't help you and you have to come into our office and blah, blah. They were like, at this point, they were getting really, really freaking annoying. I was like, seriously, help me out. I get really mad. I had like maybe 500 followers on Twitter, nothing important, but there were like a couple of, um, there were already like a couple of social media fails from big companies on social media and on Twitter. So I was like, I'm gonna use that. And I was in PR, so I knew how bad those companies felt about like those scandals. So I was like, listen, if you don't help me, I'm going to start tweeting everyone I know 
how shitty your bank service is and I'm in media so I will make that ish go viral. You have no idea who my friends are. I was bluffing. I was bluffing hardcore because 500 followers, yeah, who cared? I was so desperate. I was like, I don't care. You need to help me. Immediately her voice, you could hear like she was getting like, Ugh. okay, uh, this is, this is, this might be a situation. So she's like, okay, I'm going to talk to my manager and I'll get back to you in a minute. And I was like, this better work because I'm bluffing my ass off. The next thing that happens, I get someone on the phone from a special unit some VIP service or whatever and he's like I'm going to help you everything's gonna be alright don't you worry there's no need to for you to panic we're just going to fix this there's a certain code on your debit card why it's been blocked I'm going to remove it right now and he just kept talking to me you know like one of those uh, uh, negotiators from like suicide or terrorists or whatever and he just kept talking to me and I was like Ooh, this is nice now but at that point I was like you you better help me because I'm getting like mad over here so uh, I go to the ATM again he removed he tried to remove the code it's still not working it's still not working and he's like oh my gosh like this is the worst block code and I cannot remove it can you try it with the other debit card and the, de the other debit card had the same code. So this guy, he was so nice. He was so friendly. He kept talking to me and he was like, I am so freaking sorry. The only option I have left is to recommend you uh, to use Western Union. If someone can send you money through Western Union, you would be able to get it cash. And I think I had been on the phone with him for like two or three hours. So by that point, I did get the feeling that they were doing everything they could to help me. And it was just not possible because it was like the worst block code they put on my debit card. Because uh, like he explained to me, like at that ATM was known for scams and there was no way I could get, he could get that code off because otherwise my debit card were, would for sure get scammed. So I was like, okay. I'm going to let that whole tweet thing go away. I was bluffing anyway, so who cares? <laughs> but I wasn't even mad anymore because I was like, okay, you did what you could, you did your best and there's nothing you can do anymore. Those options were finished and I just called my brother. I was like, uh, Nish, I have no idea how this works, but could you please look up Western Union and transfer me some money? So he immediately did it. My parents were on vacation as well. So it was like a big fiesta big no money fiesta <laughs> he looked it up he transferred the money to western union he was like yeah you can pick it up so i went to the western union office because i still had that public transportation card yay you should get those those are awesome in case you get you know stuck with no money and i went to the uh, the nearest western union office only to find out you need to bring your passport to collect the money and my passport was still in the hotel room because I was afraid it would get stolen if I would bring it with me. And nobody told me to bring a passport beforehand. I get into the metro again, to the hotel, got my passport. On my way to the Western Union uh, office, I was, by this point, I was like seriously all over the place. I couldn't focus anymore. I was just so scared and I felt so alone and so miserable. And at one point I feel something some or someone touching my bag. I turn around and there are these two guys and they say to me like you should check your bag because this other guy, he was already gone, he was um, feeling things in your bag. I was like no, no, seriously, like if my passport would have gotten stolen at that moment I wouldn't have been able to pick up the cash money at Western Union so I was like no, 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 seriously, but you already guessed it. My passport didn't get stolen and I was so freaking lucky and it was such a major life lesson. I got to the Western Union office. It is so freaking easy. I can highly, highly recommend it. If you get into this situation anytime in your life, Western Union is awesome. I love them. So I pick up the money. And I decided to treat myself like crazy. I took myself out to lunch. I think I paid 40 euros or something. I ate until I couldn't breathe anymore. 
I went shopping again. I was like, screw Barcelona. The only thing that's gonna make me happy right now is shopping. So I went shopping again. And I was so happy there was such a service as Western Union. So like I said, this was like a major life lesson and I'm so happy to have learned it like in Europe, which is like quite close to home. I wouldn't be happy like if this would have happened to me in Thailand. So now when I travel by myself, I always carry one credit card still with no pin code. But I can book my flights with it, I can book accommodation with it, so that's fine. And I used that in Thailand last year because I lost my debit card in Thailand. And that organized it all. No, like if I can survive traveling solo, you can for sure. I always have my primary debit card from one bank. I have a secondary debit card from another bank just to make sure different policies apply on my two different debit cards because if one bank marks an ATM as a scam ATM, it doesn't mean another bank will do the same. So there's like a bigger chance you can use two debit cards. Also, I have dollars stashed somewhere in my backpack at all times as a backup reserve. Gosh, I'm just asking to be robbed by telling this on the internet. And I know Western Union works. So I got everything covered in order to not get into that situation again and I really hope this story time was helpful for you too if you're going to travel solo to make sure you don't get stuck without money like I did. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel and would like to travel along with me click that subscribe button and if you thought this story time was useful put a thumbs up for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!